What's up, y'all? It's your boy. I go by many names. Anyway, let's talk about this uh, sad situation right here. Um, before we get to that, like, share, comment, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell. Cash App Soul Mirror 29. PayPal Suicide Ace 29. <clears throat> Make sure you share the video, subscribe to the channel. All of that. Now, that being said, let's go ahead and rock this topic right now. Okay. Now, we have this celebrity, you know, YouTuber slash singer slash rapper. Australian YouTuber, rapper, and singer Lil Bo Weep. Passes away at age 22, a year after losing her child. Say that one more time. Australian YouTuber, rapper, and singer Lil Bo Weep passes away at 22, after a year after losing her child. Now you know me. We gonna we gonna put it all together. I'm gonna tell you what I think about certain things after we read some of this article. All right. So, shout out to uh, 7 newscom from, uh, from Australia. Alright, here we go. Australian rapper and YouTuber star Lil Bo Weep has tragically passed away at age 22. The rapper known as Winona Brooks passed away unexpectedly on Saturday after fighting against her demons, the family said. Her father, Matthew, uh, was at Showfield, broke the news on Facebook sharing a series of photos with his beloved daughter. 2-1-2000 to 5 3 2022 5-3? It's not 5-3 yet. Uh, I don't know. Maybe they meant 3 um, 3-0-3, maybe. Um, this weekend, we lost the fight from our daughter. Yeah, most likely, I think it was 3 3 or something like that. Three, uh, this weekend, we lost the fight for my daughter's life against depression, trauma, PTSD, and drug addiction that we have been fighting since we got her back from America. Through emergency, I don't know how to say that word, repetration, DFAT, but broken. She fought hard against her demons as well. We all did a side by side next to her and picked up the broken pieces over and over again. But she could not fight anymore. We lost her. Um, the Adelaide native first began producing music on SoundCloud in 2015 with her song Codependency, streamed millions of times on Spotify. Her father's statement continued as her dad. I am proud of her beyond words as she is my hero, my daughter, and my best friend that I love so, so much. She is no longer hurting no now with the universe wanting their angel back. As big part of me is lost at the moment, but I ask respectfully that my close friends try not to ring me until I get some way oh get some way through this. I uh, always in my heart I love my weenie, the post it ended. The late singer had a uh, notable social media following on TikTok and YouTube. When Nona final, uh, final Instagram post came just days before her passing on uh March fifth, twenty twenty two. Exactly, three fifths. They they messed up right here. She explained to her followers that she wished to organize a memorial event to mark one year since uh, the death of her child. In the same video, she shared that it was unlikely she'd ever conceive another child naturally after growing up with a severe eating disorder. I've been crying continuously. I'm sorry, Winona began. Around this time last year, I lost my child and I would like to do something in remembrance of her. Preferably spread some flowers at a beach and spend the, spend the day just mourning. Our video ended. Uh, I like I really appreciate if anyone in Adelaide would do that for me and with me. So please reach out. The late singer also kept in the photo. By the way, I'm not high. I'm heavily dosed on 
what is that, Seroquel, Seroquel to avoid any psychosis from my CPTSD. She went on explaining that her fertility has been affected by her severe eating disorder. I may never be able to uh, full-term pregnancy of a child of my own due to the way I treated my body, she said. Following the news of a sudden death, fans and fr friends, uh, death fans and friends in the music industry have publicly expressed their condolences. All right. Now, <sighs> you know, being a person that almost took his own life makes me, I have a soft spot for these type of stories. Because I definitely know the dark place that, that we go to when you're ready to check out. It's a dark place, man. Now, I grew up with, a, with one of my sisters and her friend getting, a, getting uh, abortions back to back. I grew up with them. And the pain that I seen my sister, friend, crying about the abortion, how much it hurts. And sometimes the females wish they, did, they didn't do it. Now here's a young lady that's 22 years old, was ready to be a mom, beautiful, to bring a life into the world. And care for it and love it. But somehow she ended up with a disorder. Where the, the body can't. Uh, sustain. Another life long enough for it to. Actually be born. So that. Even put her more in depression. That made her turn into. You know, that made her turn into other things. Like they said, it was she was fighting PTSD from that. She was fighting drugs from that, trauma. So just imagine going through the eating disorder already. That's something that you got to deal with every day. Just like if you got lupus. You got any type of any type of disease. It don't matter if it's chest pains, cancer, whatever it is. You have to deal with it every day. You have to think about it. Sometimes it affects you so much that it alters your inside. It alters you. It weakens you. And sometimes you can't do other things that other people do since the, the, the disease prevents you from doing it. She wanted to be a mother and the disease prevented her from being a mother. Do you know how devastating that is to a 22 year old who wants to be a mother? She wanted to be a mother. You have mothers out there who don't want to be mothers, but they, they just reckless. I ain't going to say reckless, but you know, they do whatever they doing without protecting themselves or whatever they slip up. And they like they don't they don't want to be mothers. Imagine want to be a mother. You want to you you want to be a mother, but something that you can't control ended up stopping you from being a mother. She didn't do anything wrong not to be a mother. It was something that happened to her body, and now she can't be a mother. That's devastating. Like a father want to be a father and the kid taken away or you don't you can't produce enough, you know, you can't produce enough uh, sperm or something. Imagine that a person who wants to be a mother can't be a mother, not due to because she can't she can't or some, some reason that she need to wait. It's because of, of this a disorder that she had, an eating disorder who basically is, is, is it mess it, it messes up her. Her anatomy to the point where she can't hold a newborn long enough to be born. 
And she said it. I probably would never be able to do a full term pregnancy because my eating disorder messed up my body. Imagine that, man. Imagine how that feels that you didn't do anything wrong and you want to bear a life. You want to bring a life in here. You want to do it. But something else happened that was out of your control. This wasn't even in her control. This was out of her control. Stopping you from producing life, man. Understand how crazy that is. That, that, it's a lot of women out here who going through this. It's a lot of women going through this, man. A lot. You know, it's very sad, man. You know, me, when I get stressed like this, I don't eat. I don't eat, man. I'll just be starving myself. See? She turned into, you know, substances. She was already on substances already. Now pay attention to that. To have PTSD, she said, see PTSD, all that. They give her, they give given her stuff for that. Then she turned to other substances that's added to that. Nah, I man. Some people do survive it, some people can't. One thing you got to learn about people dealing with certain situations is it's not easy, man, because you don't know the, the, the extent, the, the, the depths of, of pain that someone is going through, the depths of stress that someone's going through. You don't know. See me, I've been stressed out for a long time. I've been battling things for a long time, and I'm just now trying to get over the hump, but it's hard. But nobody really knows. I just smile. I, I beat me. You know, I go through a lot of stuff myself, but I don't show it. But it's a lot of things I've been going through and a lot of demons I'm fighting myself. It's a lot of us who go through this, man, and it's... We're not strong. A lot of people not strong enough to to get over the hump. She tried her best, but it was too. The the pain was too strong. The demons was too strong. If you ever been addicted to something, then you should understand this. It don't matter what it is. Being addicted to something. Or being so depressed that you end up being addicted to something to help cope with the stress, with the depress. Depression. I think a lot of us has been through that already. You turn into something that helps you with the depression. Then you end up being addicted to it. It's not easy being... Uh, in a situation that you had nothing to do with. She didn't mess her body up by just doing drugs first. She didn't mess her body up by partying and drinking at a young age. And he just caught up to her. She had an eating disorder. And that's it. It's people who go on around with certain uh, disorders or certain, uh, you know, Certain things going on with them. And they try their best to, to make it through the day. Make it through the week. Make it through the, the, the month. Through the year. But sometimes people get tired, man. Sometimes people get tired of fighting, man. Sometimes they do. It's like, I'm tired of this. I don't want to keep taking the shot for this damn whatever it is. I don't want to keep taking these pills for this, for that. I don't want to keep uh, uh, having my hip hurt or having my knees hurt. I don't want to keep doing this, man. You know what? Forget it. I don't care, man. I'm, I'm done. It's not easy, man. You know, they should have classes for things like this. I'm just talking about in school, regular school, college. They should have classes where people are allowed to vent with no uh, backlash. Just free flow venting. They should have these type of uh, gatherings all over the world. 
It's a lot of us that keep a lot of things in, like I do. I keep a lot of things in. I just try to figure it out myself, man. I, I, I let a little stuff out, but it's, I don't let everything out. I just try to figure out myself. It's a lot of us who go through these things, and, and sometimes it can wear you down to the point where you just give up. This young woman... was fighting a lot. If you ever talk to a woman who lost her baby, talk to a woman who wants to be a mother, not those other women who just party and having fun. Oh, I had a miscarriage, okay. Woo, I dodged a bullet. We ain't talking about those ladies. I want you guys to go talk to women who wants to be a mother and lose their child. How devastating it feels. How they feel like, what? Then you'll start to understand what she was going through. See if you got a friend or a family member who had a miscarriage and they were so happy to be a mother and they had a miscarriage. How devastating that is. Oh, that is devastating right there. I see it a couple times. It hurts. Man, so, you know, uh, my heart goes out to their family because, you know, they had to watch this. They had to watch their daughter go through these pains, these struggles, and they couldn't do nothing about it. But just be the, her support system until the end. And that's one thing people need to know. When you see people, um, you know, do, turn it into something that's probably not good for them but you be like this i don't understand because they got a support system and they got a loving family we just don't stop it nobody can dictate how what somebody does how uh you know during their moment of not feeling up to par not feeling this or whatever it is it don't matter if you have a support system when you're in a dark place do you know that People don't understand. It don't matter how many people support somebody if they're in a dark place. That shit don't matter at that point. Now, it could help them get out of the dark place if they start to accept it more. But that's still not the end all. The end all be all is what I feel, not you, not the surrounding. It don't matter. And this is why people just say, I'm out of here. I'm gone. Because it's not about the support system at that time. It's about me versus me. What about me versus me? That is the end all be all. Now the surroundings can help you get up out of that. But you still have to be, you still have to look yourself in the face and say, you know what? I ain't going out like that. I'm going to try my best to get out. Sometimes people can make it out. Sometimes people fall right back in. It all depends. Yeah, man. So, I just want to say these situations. I know um, how it is because I'm I'm still in the like I'm starting to just now come out of, of 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 that you know beating myself up over certain things and if I, if I'm procrastinating too much, I used to stress it. It's depressing when you're not succeeding. You know how de it's really depressing when you're not succeeding when you know you can. So a lot of us go into depression over that. We say, damn, I should have been this. I'm on the, I'm this right now. I should have been that. It's a lot of things that play 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 on our mind that people go people think about every day. It runs in their mind every day. I had to learn not to let that get me down. I had to learn like if there's an if I can go to sleep and wake up, there's another day to try to get better. But everybody can't do it. Man. Everybody can't keep going. I almost took myself out. So understand that, you know, um, it's not easy. Bro. And then you got to listen to, you got to, then especially if you care what other people think about you. Imagine failing and, and then you care what other people think. On top of what you think about yourself. Do you know how much stress it is to live when you care about what other people think on top of what you think about yourself? That's added pressure. On a lot of us, a lot of people care about what other people think. So they start doing things and 
you know, uh, saying things and doing certain things that they should not be doing. But that that's just the world we live in. And you have to start taking control of that. But it's not easy. It's a learning. It's a learning lesson that, that can take a take. It depends on who you are. It can take a long time, but it's not easy. All right. So with that being said, man, like, share, comment, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell. Cash App Soul Mirror Twenty Nine. Oh, you already said all that. It'll be in the description box. All the all the uh, you know links that you need or the the uh, sites that you need to donate if you want to will be in the description box. Yeah, man. All right. So make sure you subscribe, man. Share the video, it's your boy, man. All right. Like uh, talk to your soul, soul mirror, the balance keeper, no one safe. Poking the people, sisterhood, anti-bully gang, civil back gang. Lee love the ladies. Lady loves Lee. And ladies, you are definitely love Lee. Don't chase the light. Let the light chase you. I'm out of here. Peace. Drums.